All right, Shalom. I'd like to start by saying Barakat the Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakah HaKodash. Give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father in His name of His only begotten Son. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us His truth, peace, blessings, mercy, and salutations to all the brothers preaching this gospel in true sincerity, always in charity. All right, this is the brother Malaaki from the Great Millstone Camp to branch out in the morning, coming at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, what, what, what inspired, what, what got me uh, thinking about this lesson, you know, uh, in the midst of everything that's happening, you know, with this uh, coronavirus and whatnot, I seen a brother post this on, uh, on the YouTube. Salakia, as the apostles like to call, you know, um, and it says, holy water removed temporarily to reduce the risk of spreading viral illness. <laughs> and then uh I I looked I looked uh I looked it up and I found this one. I know it's a little bit blurry, but I'll read it. You know, it says preventing the spread of the coronavirus, a Townsville diocese um response. It says one communion under one kind, and I can't really make out, you know, what it says. Verse two communion in the hand. Uh Salakia. Salakia. Communion in the hand. Three, no holy water. Four, no touch at the sign of peace. Uh, verse five, ministers wash hands. Verse six, if if six, stay at home. <laughs> you know, and I was just kind of thinking, you know, hey, hey, it's funny because, hey, man, the, the, the Lord is really going to show these people a hey, hey, Christianity ain't going to save you, man. Christianity ain't it. All right. And, uh, you know, uh, through the spirit, I was reading the book of John this week and, you know, going into that holy water, it, it, it really made, made me, uh, uh, think of, of this chapter that I read, right? Because if this water was so holy, like they say it is right. They say that the Lord dwells, uh, uh there in those churches, right? And so if this is holy water, then if it truly was, if the Lord blessed that water, then that water is going to be blessed, man. It's not going to be contaminated with the disease. It's not going to spread disease, you know. Uh, so th 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 this is what I read and made me think about it, you know. This is John, the fifth chapter, St. John, chapter five and verse. I'll just start at uh, one. It says, after this, there was a feast of the Jews and Yahweh Shai went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the move of water. Right? It says, uh, For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Right? So uh, this angel, this holy angel, Right. Uh, based off what he did to the pool, you could consider that that water to be holy. Right. The holy, holy water. Right. But it says what that that uh, after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. So it cured those diseases, man. Hey, so if that water truly was holy that they have in these churches, man, in the Catholic Church. Hey, man, that that, that shit should be healing these people, <laughs> you know. Instead of them saying, oh, no, don't take any holy water. Don't use. We're not going to have it out because it could spread disease. Hey, man, that that should be curing. You know, hey, uh, uh, there should be an abundance of that water. People should be able to take baths in that, you know, if it truly were holy water. You know, showing showing you the 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 foolishness, the folly uh, of these churches, man. All right. It says. Uh, yeah, and, and that was the point. You know, that uh, that was a point in that chapter, you know, because then it goes on on how uh, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, healed, healed a, a certain man. Right. But when you go into this word, verse three, impotent of impotent folk. It says to be weak, feeble, to be without strength, powerless, to be weak in means, needy, poor, to be feeble, sick, to be sick, to be weak, to be sick. Weak, impotent man, disease, you know, hey, so, so, so these sick people were going into into that water and hey, how come, okay, if their illness got washed away, how come those other people that, that, that went into the water, 
How come they didn't uh, 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 contact that disease? You know? Hey, man, that, that, that shows you, man, that the, the Christian church, the Catholic church, that they're, they're not going to save uh, uh, these people from the things that are coming, man. You know, these people that are trusting a man, that trust in, in, in their pastors, just go off whatever they say and see, and, and uh, uh, they search not the scriptures, man. They, they truly don't got the fear of the Lord, you know. Hey, these people are, are, are going to be in a pitiful case, man. It says that, uh, <coughs> this is John chapter four and verse 23. It says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You know? And, and, and that's the point, man. You know, that the men that are going to be worshiping, uh, uh, the, the men and, and women, you know, that are going to be worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth, serving the Lord in, in truth and sincerity, hey, those are going to be the ones uh, that obtain salvation, man. These are going to be the people that, that are going to be uh, 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 calm and collected and of good cheer throughout the famine, man. You know, hey, all the, all, hey, you got the coronavirus kicking off. You got a, a, a multitude of things happening, man. Prophecy popping off like popcorn, you know, like Elder, uh, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar says, man. And you see the men of the Lord rejoicing. You know, you don't see them all worried, all stocking up water and, and, and toilet paper and Germex and nah, man. Hey, hey, they're exalting the names of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. They're continuing to call upon the Lord, thanking Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai for bringing these things upon this wicked place. And, and meanwhile, these Christians are, are worried, man. <laughs> you know, not shaking hands uh, uh, with, with, with their fellow Christian because of fear of the coronavirus. N -n -n not getting this the, the, uh, that holy water, <laughs> so-called holy water, you know. Hey, these people that are trusting in these idols that are trusting uh, in Serapis Christus are going to be in pitiful case, man. Hey, the, the Lord said, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, call upon call upon your idols in that day. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Your idols in that day. Uh, I don't know if this is the one that I was thinking of, but, you know, a, a nevertheless, it serves the purpose. You know, it says. Uh, Judges 10 and 13, it says, ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. You know, and this is talking about uh, uh, the children of Israel, man. You know, but the, uh, there's another one. Uh, I think this is it. Lord, Lord willing, this is it. Jeremiah 2 and 28. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 28. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of trouble. According to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all transgressed against me, said the Lord. You know, and, and and it says that the Lord is going to laugh at, uh, at these people's calamity, man. You know, hey, hey, ju just like uh, just like uh, uh, Elijah. Hey, that's how the men of the Lord are feeling are, are feeling right now. You know, hey, these people, uh, you know, you, you you had them calling on uh, 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 Baal, you know, cutting themselves and, and and crying out loud to him. Well, hey, man, the, the men of the Lord are feeling the same way. All right, you should. Hey, hey, call upon Jesus to save you. Call upon Buddha. Call upon Allah. You know? Hey, he's not answering. You're still getting the coronavirus. You're, hey, 
Yeah, go go ahead. Pray, pray to pray to Father God. Pray to Jesus to save America. Pray, pray, pray for him to, to get rid of the coronavirus. Perhaps he's sleeping, you know? Hey, hey, maybe maybe he's in the bathroom, you know? Hey man, it says that that uh uh that that, that the Lord uh uh Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai make make it the, our boldness manifest, man. You know, when they believe that thou art not of a true power, uh, thou showest thou sh thy, thy strength. You know, hey, so hey, the, really that was a point, man. That a hey, hey, Christianity is not gonna save you, man. Worshiping Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Uh, uh, in truth and sincerity, serving Him with the fullness of your heart and meekness, according to to the Scripture, uh, as the Scripture has said, hey, that's what's gonna save you, man. And and the men of the Lord have full confidence, man. Uh, uh, with them, with us, I'm I'm say it like that, you know, because uh, Lord willing, I, I pray that that I'm a part of that number, you know, that that based off the things that we're doing, that we're gonna obtain that salvation, man. You know, it says, "My servant shall eat." My servant shall drink. Okay? Hey, but, you know, just a quick lesson with that. Call halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai. To the next.